theme song, theme song, theme song, theme song. I'm trying to make it the same and it you wasn't ruined the same. it. It wasn't the same. But the theme song. The first time was fun. It was, it was so natural. much fun and it was and all organic. All it. Oh, it was so good. Johnny went like busted. Lee's all. Boo, boo, boo. And I'm all we theme dropped song, a beat. We were going. It was fun. Maybe another day. Another day. Has to be random. Damn it. Like our sex. Yeah. Mm hmm. Our sex is random. So. I made a cookie drink. What the fuck is a boba thing? What are those little things? Are they look like chocolate? What the fuck are you doing spraying shit all I over the place? I didn't mean to. Sometimes so, I drink weird. So the boba things, I've been trying to figure out. You're like, it tastes like cookie, this and that. But That's not what, boba. Well, what the fuck are the little dots in there? The, that's the confetti on the cup. Oh, see, I, that, that cup is fucked up. <laughs> it's that Starbucks cup that changes, has little confetti, confetti and it changes colors. It's fucked up, makes it look like there's shit in your drink. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. No, it's just confetti. There's no boba in here. Okay, so what's a boba? Boba is little balls of tapioca. Okay. It says tapioca starch that comes from the cassava root. It's good. I'm not saying it's not. It's like when you get bo- when you get a drink with boba, in- well, one, it's like a milk tea. And you can get it with different flavors, right? So they have like tiger sugar, which is really good. And they have like caramel. And they have cookies and cream. And then they ask you, do you want boba? And then you say, if you say yes, you get these little balls at the bottom. So it's almost like a drink and food. Like you're full afterwards because you're chewing on these little tapioca balls. Stop smiling at me like this. See, this is why my I mind want... goes to the gutter and this I start is... thinking. Oh. <laughs> this is why I want the camera because I want people to see your stupid little smirky faces. Well, we got and the, the camera fact that and you we'll lean work it. And you, you don't, you move the microphone and I away. move around a lot. Yes, which well, is why I think you need to take this because this moves with you. <laughs> well, fine. I have to burp. That's weird. Oh, do it. Do it. No, no, that's Come on, gross. rip one. No, that's don't be pussy. Gross. Be pose. Rip one. So we got a busy week. Yeah. Things are wild. Things are nuts. I'm going. I feel like everything, every time we turn around, there's something. I got that freaking, I got a message a, or a letter in the mail saying, we're garnishing your wages for a freaking vehicle I sold like a dozen years ago. And I was like, what in the fuck? And I had to fight that all up and figure it all out and get it all straight. But the last, like, at the 23rd hour before they start garnishing... Yay, us. Yay, us. And I tried to call the Marriott. I was on hold for 20 minutes today. You know what's really fucked? What? Is I used to have all those Marriott points. I know. I had enough to get three nights. You know what sucks? And it's... I don't, I think they went away because it was like 2012. I almost think, I, I almost want to call Birdo and be like, can you give me a free night? You know, he probably would. He's probably got a thousand of them. I know, but they like they bought their refrigerator with their points. They bought their TV with their freaking points. I know, so I don't... They buy everything with their points. You know what? Big purchase? <laughs> Hang on. I've got enough points. Let's call the Marriott. But I also want to be like, hey, I'll give you... I love it. Good I'll give them. you $150 cash. Sure. If you get me a free night. Ooh, Berto should... likes cash. Berto likes cash. Oh, I should do. You should do that. You're the brother-in-law. He likes you. You should try. Nobody in my family likes. Well, me Well, right nobody now. likes you right now, but that'll be different. Nobody oh. likes us right now. John, John, John. I have something to tell what, 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 what? you. Okay. Who excited? Go. Okay. Guess who is a patient? Oh, I don't even know if. Oh, you should can this I? be conf- it's confidential? I don't think you can. Yeah. You could tell me off air. But that's not fun. Um, well, you should you should tell me real quick without telling everybody, so I can go. Ooh, that's... read the very top. Okay, 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 okay. So, oh yeah, you told me about that, and yeah. that's super cool. That's I think super that's super cool. cool. Good. So she owns a pit bull rescue oh, awesome. in Acton. Oh, I didn't know. That's okay, cool. I want to go and pet the puppies. Yes, so more puppies. I know, right? Not That's puppies that cool. we get rid of. I know, I know. I'm an asshole. We're not talking about this uh, past. Two weeks ago is bad. Okay. This week is busy. Yeah. Next I'm, week is. I'm well into forty now. Next week, next week, yeah, you're like almost forty two now. <laughs> so, then, <laughs> so hey, then, hey, am I the oldest person you've slept with? Yes, I am sleeping with an old hag now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not the oldest person I've slept with. That's creepy. I think you're the same age as the person I slept with. I think that I find that a little bit creepy. And I was, old, a, I was old, 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 old. 
2025. No, 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 no. Whoa, wait, wait. whoa, whoa. Wait, we gotta re- <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. 25, that would make us together at that moment. No. So, anything you want to talk about? <laughs> Trampy, tramp, tramp. Trampy, tramp, I tramp, 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 I tramp. No, I was 21. Because I could go into the strip. He was the DJ at the strip club. But he lied to me and told me he was 35. And then I found a paper that said that he was... Well, I also found out that wasn't his real last name. He told me. And he was um, like almost 50. Yeah. And you were just having at that old pee-pee. Huh? No wonder you got a fetish for old guys. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have a fetish for old guys. I you have, got a fetish for me. Okay. And my, I'm an old guy. I got gray beard. I was just bush. explaining this to one of my patients. <laughs> I have a thing for bald white men in power. Well, I, I have no power, so I know, I know, I took it from you. Um, it's in your purse. <laughs> but both of them. Like I was talking because we were talking. What were we talking? Oh, we were somehow talking, and Annie came up. You know, it's a hard knock life, right? And then I go, Brody really likes the new Annie with Jamie Fox, and it was one of my friends who's. A little bit racist. And she was like, what? Annie's black. And I'm all, dude, did you? Yeah. And I go, Jamie Foxx is Daddy Warbucks. And I go, and the thing that bugs me about it, I don't care what, the, what color they are. It's just I had the hots for Daddy Warbucks when I was oh, younger. Oh, so you like bald money. I like bald men in power. You like bald money. That's why you like, you're like you like Dana White. Yes. And he's such a dick. So, so I was found out or not found out i i've been paying attention for some reason lately and i was like oh i have finally figured it out guys who are bald Uh uh-huh really start growing beards because we can't grow anything on our heads anymore yeah it migrates makes me feel better that we can look at we can still grow manly beards well okay it's either you grow a beard or you go you grow like a back stash which is so gross and nobody wants just the clean face clean head clean 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 isn't that what dana white is yeah yeah, uh, yeah. And now he's a little older, so he's got a little more chunk on him. So he's got almost two chins with it. Yeah, it's all the evil he swallows now. Wow. Well, he makes me mad. So, speaking of sleeping with old people, um, my- you talk about our sex. <laughs> no, I just wonder. I was just wondering. So every year I get older is the oldest person you've ever slept with. Yes. And next year you'll be the oldest person I've slept with. Man, I can't believe that. <laughs> he lied. Man, you are such but a I was... tramp. I'm saying. So- <laughs> <laughs> I fuck you. There should be a little tattoo that says, slut. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And we're done. Goodbye. <laughs> Good day. I'm just kidding. I meant it with love. No, you d- I meant to call you a slut with love. I did. I meant it with love. Slut love. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> I shouldn't have got me a boner, but it did a little bit. I got heavy. See, this is why we and look, need and a you camera. Look, and you look straight at my wiener when, he, when he did that. You you went straight to it. You were like, really? Is it heavy? <laughs> does it look bigger? <laughs> yeah, it does. Look. Yeah. yeah. I also gave you a blowjob <laughs> upside down last, yesterday. So, boom. Oh, quieted you down, didn't it, Sir Muffin Man? Look at you. <laughs> I had the biggest head rush when I came back up to you. <laughs> Look at you. You're blushing. I know. How often does that happen? You're blushing because I said I gave you a blowjob upside down. I can't say that word. Upside down. Inside out. Mm. Oh, are we singing? Oh, you me. Yeah, are you want to know? That? You want to know lyrics? Is that what we're going to talk about? I don't know. I no, because I know you're going to be right. Because we were singing some foreigner, and you, you had okay. a great line to a song that I thought was really good, but it's not the right line. Okay, so first, Brody's been watching that Tacoma FD, which is funny, which is super funny, and they start off their theme song. Theme song theme is Hot Blooded, and I was singing it. And you need to move. You're getting fuzz. There's fuzz. There's fuzz. I hear fuzz. There we go. Okay. So the theme song is... Oh, and then... Okay, first of all, let's do this. Okay, I was singing the Hot Blooded song with the wrong lyrics on purpose, kind of. So I was all, got COVID, 
check it and get it and see. Right. You'll get a fever of 100. And okay, anyway, so I thought that was funny. So I put it on Facebook. And then everybody's like, oh, my God, you have COVID. You have COVID. Were you vaccinated? And I, I mean, like, I could see like what if people I, misreading it because not everybody's like, oh, that's the foreigner song. And I put musical notes in the top and the bottom. To that, that doesn't make people smarter. All right. There's not an automatic button. They're like, Bing, oh, there's musical. That, oh, that's that song. I guess. So anyways. I mean, you think about it, really, for real. Okay. So anyways, there's a lyric that I've apparently been singing wrong my whole life. <laughs> that's a fucking first. Um, or a 4,000th. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hot-blooded. Gotta- check it and see. Got a fever. 103. Come on, baby, you can do more than dance. Come on, baby. Or you can do, do you, more than that. It says, come on, baby, do you do more than dance? That's the stupidest lyric. Okay, so I was hell of a lot closer than you were. I had one word different. Okay. I'm hot-blooded. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> can we move on come from on, hot-blooding? Well, come on, baby, let me see your sweet ass. That's what I thought That lyric. would be like the 2000s fucking version of that song, like the live version. Hey, that'd be... Dave's Cleveland, we're here, we're live, and then they play that song, and that's the where they change the words for fun to get Come people on, all baby, fired up. Let me see your sweet and everybody's ass. like, yeah, more sweet than, ass, do bro. You do more than dance. Yeah, so stupid. Do you do more than dance? Well, whatever. Welcome to eighties. Okay, 70s, but eighties there was other dirty no stuff, sense. and none of it made sense. She's my cherry pie. Does that mean she was on her period? Yeah, he was getting his red wings. Clown mouth. Hmm. Somebody told me. I know what you're about to say. That that shit was the nectar of the gods. And that was the best time to go down on a girl. Well, I mean, the gods did like blood. He said, if you didn't go get clown mouth, you weren't a man. Hmm. And this was an older man, by the way. (laughs) He was telling us 20 something year old kids this. (laughs) We're like 24. We're barely admitting that we've beat off into our own favorite sock. (laughs) <laughs> and this guy's dad's going Oh yeah fuckers You guys go get them fucking red wings That shit's like the fucking nectar of the gods man You get that all over your fucking face Jim Best Rosa. time Oh yeah I'm like, do, you, do you chew on it? <laughs> no I'm just kidding No I'm kidding ba- No You snorted <laughs> You snorted I almost, again I almost drooled You almost shit yourself I almost drooled I cracked myself up <laughs> No, <laughs> you don't chew on period blood. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in you right now. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. No. <laughs> so, hey, hey, I read this story. Oh, fuck. And it was your hometown was in the news. Madera? Well, Madera County. County. It was actually in core school where the rest of your family's up there in the hills. Uh huh. And there was this family driving on up the hill, and they were four buying. And then they saw some lady. Wait, was it my family? Maybe. Okay. They were four buying up some hill, and their three year old was in the back seat with them, you know, (gasps) and he's in there, and he's like, stop the car, stop the car, freaking out, stop the car. And they're like, what the fuck? And he's like, this woman needs help. This woman, she's out there. Her legs are up. She's down here. She's in the prairie down there. She's, she needs help. Mom, she's dead. She needs help. And just going and going and going. Swore up and down and, and freaking out until his parents like got out, went and searched the meadows and everything. Then they went and they were like, hey, you know, they just kind of mentioned something. Like, it was weird. And then they got a phone call from the police and they were like, hey, there was this murder up here. We're looking for this girl. It was a crazy situation. But then they thought the case got hot again and then they couldn't find anything. But crazy, right? It is crazy. It but was this a- little kid was like in a full on panic. Like, and they didn't out. find it. Because they said he was, all of a sudden the kid was talking to somebody. Just blah, 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 blah. blah. You know how it's weird when kids do uh-huh. that weird shit like fucking that? kids are creepy. It's like when people talk in their sleep. That is the fucking craziest shit in the world. When you really think about it, someone is subconsciously like having a full on conversation and you're like, what in the fuck We've is all it? done it. But it's crazy. When, it freaks me out when I hear it. Because I'm always, I don't know, it's freaky. I don't know. I have like such vivid dreams that I'll wake up and I'm all, did that happen? 
I mean, I've had a couple of those where I've had I've to had sit a- for reality. I mean, the, that one I've always talked about, the, right. the one where I shot myself in the head and felt the burn when I woke up was pretty fucking intense. Wouldn't that be funny if it was really used your ex-wife like poking you in the head with a hot poker? What if I was really dead already and I'm just in some weird purgatory hell? I mean, heaven. Thank you. Thank I'm, you very much. I'm just kidding. You're my hell, Joy. Well, uh, you know what? Some people's hell hey. is other people's heaven. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, baby. <laughs> you liar. You want to be at the RC track right now. Next or time. Vegas or. Well, you can go with me. <laughs> Disc golfing. Woo. So my friend who I knew in Texas, I met her in Texas, was in Bakersfield and distri- decided to drive. Man, I can't talk. I'm stroking now. I was I'm just going to say you're stroking out. Stroking now. I'm gonna die. It happens in my family. Mm-mm-mm. Not yet. You're too young. Yeah. It doesn't well, happen anyway, later. she drove to our house to basically have dinner with us and, and hang out with and you. hang out. And it was really funny because as one does when you are with an old friend, you start reminiscing and you start talking about old stories. And I swear Brody was looking at me like holy fuck my mom had a life before me. Cuz I I have a kids and I mean, if you think about it too, like I think about it with my parents, like it's almost like they were born when the day you were born. Like I, but became, you kind of are in a weird way. In a way, yeah. But so we we're talking, and he's he goes, "Mom, you were cool." <laughs> I was like, uh, "Yeah." Yeah, but tell why were you cool? Because I didn't have kids. Because you stole a car. Oh, no, that's that's the next thing. So Heather and I were talking, and she goes, do you remember when we stole the truck? And his eyes got, like, round. And I was like... I have never heard this story. You've never heard this story? No. Okay, we... Okay. Because <laughs> you even told me, I forgot all about this. I did. You I had it buried I... deep down inside of your life somewhere. That's funny, because I thought I've talked about it on this podcast. No, I don't think you've ever talked about this. <laughs> okay, so... Is there a statute of limitations? It, we, no, okay, it, we didn't steal a car. Technically, we repoed it. <laughs> Okay, I think you maybe told me about this. I don't know if you've ever told it on the hair, though. Okay, so I was dating the DJ, the strip club DJ. This was the old guy. The old guy. Was yes. cross eyed. Yes. And a pierced No, no, wiener. no. He was not cross eyed. He had one lazy eye. And like, a pierced wiener. Yes, and pierced nipples. Do you think he pierced his wiener because his eyes were so lazy that he went to go for a nipple and actually got his pee pee? He's like, oh, oh, well, we'll just keep it. What do they call that? Albert Printing? All right. Holy shit. I didn't think about that. He's pierced people with that lazy. I mean, his eye was so lazy it could get disability. Hey, I want to, I want to get, uh, I want to get my nipple pierced. Can you do it? It's in the armpit. Um, that was my cock. <laughs> no, he had his nipples pierced. He had his penis pierced, and he had like I could stick my thumb through his ears. Okay, what is sex like with a penis? I mean, we've talked about this. It was like episode three or four, right? But I mean, and thank you who for whoever binged our fucking shit. Holy shit, our numbers like went through the roof. It's- yeah, thanks for listening. Hopefully we got a couple and of And it newbies. was in California. It was a California. It's probably episode. more of our family going disappointment, going, Oh my <laughs> God, I hate them. <laughs> yeah, we have no We're problem. out of the will. If you guys want to be our family. All right, we're looking for new family. <laughs> We've kind of been disowned. We're weird, but we're nice and we always have ice cream and I just learned how to make a non carb um cookie drink. <laughs> and it's really good. So, okay. So, Heather, my friend. Open for holidays. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt. Did that one hurt a little bit? Yeah, because fucking the holidays are right around, uh, right around the corner. Yeah, like, we'll We're see. fucked. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. So, I was dating the DJ, the strip club DJ. He was DJing at Heather's dad's strip club. The reason I met him is so Heather, Heather's, your friend, yeah, 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 her dad, uh huh, owned the strip club managed, that you guys hung out, managed. It. Okay, he was so the that's manager. why you hung out there because of her. Yes. Okay. Well, go. Yes. Okay. So what happened was one night, Don beat me up pretty good. Like normally he would beat yeah, me up. Yeah. Fuck that guy. By the way. Yeah. So where the bruises would be hidden under clothes. And that was to me like at least he he had some form of knowing. You know, does that make sense? 
Like he was in some type of control that he knew where to put the bruises. Right. Okay. He wasn't going to punch you in the mouth. Right. He was going to well, fucking hit you in the ribs. Right. Which to me, I was like, okay, he's still in somewhat of control. Well, one night he wasn't. And I had bruises up and down my arm. Anyways, whatever. So I went to Heather. I had it on my neck. And I went to Heather and she's like, we need to get you. Because she's like, he's going to come here to find you. So we went to her dad's strip club because I was a little prudy. And she's like, nobody knows my dad is the manager here. Right. And they'll never think you'll be in here. Exactly. So we went. Her dad bought me a lap dance. It's the only lap dance I've ever had. Never need another That's one. That's funny. Yeah. Here, Joy, let me go ahead and give you lap dance. <laughs> You're all bruised and You're broken. You're all beat up and been abused. And <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sexually assault you now <laughs> with this lady right here. Her name is Cinnamon. No. <laughs> what was her I don't know what her name was, but I do know. Enjoy it. It's on me. Her hair smelled really good. But you got to give her your own tip. <laughs> her so hair smelled good. I'm not going to cover the is tip. Is that weird? And she goes, just, I go, I really don't want this. And she's like, just close your eyes. And I was like, fuck. Okay, so anyway, that's how I met the strip club DJ James. DJ Flames with a Y. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Yes. Swear to God. You're so weak. I know. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of you right now. You so... tell me more of this and I get more ashamed of you. I might, you might get papers. I might leave your ass. I realize how good I am. <laughs> You're such an ass. You want to talk about your ex? Let's do that. Uh huh. I win. At least I didn't have a kid with any of mine. Just one that you know of. <laughs> so him. Okay. So he he got me good because he was like, nobody should treat you like this. You should be a princess. And I'm not gonna lie. The reason I started dating him is because he was so ugly. I was like, he'll be appreciative. Of having me. So, he <laughs> so how'd that work out? It didn't. He cheated on me. I walked in mid pump. Like he was right in the middle of some stripper. <laughs> so, um, he's like, you could join. No, he didn't. Uh, no. So, okay. Anyway, when we first started dating, he didn't have a vehicle. So, and he saw this white pickup. He was at Heather's house and he saw this white pickup and he's like, oh, do you know whose pickup that is? And it was Heather's. And he goes, I can't afford to buy it, but I can do monthly payments. Okay. Okay. So he took the car, he took the truck, and he was paying Heather monthly payments. Okay. Then I met Jennifer, and I found out he was cheating on me. And we found out we were cheating on it. He was So cheating. he was getting both of you? Yeah. Me and Jennifer. Yeah, And yeah. the strippers? Uh-huh. Oh, he was getting so so she, so she so she was into the lazy eye too. Yeah, that's funny. Well, she told me the reason she slept with James is to get with his roommate Corey because his Cor- R- Corey was pretty handsome. Okay. Okay. So okay. So the night Jennifer and I went to James' house and broke up with him, her and I went and partied all night, super drunk. And you know I don't drink very li- well, so we went back to her house. And I, you know, you know how I have like a vague sense of direction. Like if I've been somewhere right. before, I can probably get there again. I hear fuzzies again. Still hear I fuzzies. Hear any, I don't hear any fuzzies. Okay. 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 It's fuzzy. You're, You're fuzzy. Okay. Whatever. So anyway, we go back to her house. I pass out. And that's when we went to Sonic the next day and got a Route 44 cherry vanilla diet Dr. Pepper extra ice. Which- and I vomited on the side of the road doesn't still your favorite yeah, drink yeah yeah so okay so then i his truck was parked still at her place okay and i was but i was super drunk you have to remember i was like right. super duper drunk and she drove me home so i called heather and i was like dude because he hadn't he missed like three paint three months of pain right he was kind of stiff yeah. at this point and i go i know where the truck is because he was hiding it from her and I go, but I was super, super drunk when I went there. And I go, but I know the vicinity. So her and I, at midnight one night, went up and down these country-ass roads because she lived in like a double wide on this huge property. Right. And sure enough, we stop and I'm like, fuck. And she goes, there it is. So she, so she went and we put the car, in ne- the truck in neutral and we backed it up. We pushed it back down the driveway and we pushed it down the street. And I drove Heather's car home and Heather drove the truck and we hid the truck at another friend's house. 
That's funny. So we fucking stole this truck. And so then did he ever try to... Oh, he called me within hours. Where the fuck's my truck, babe? Babe, honey, love. And I was like, "Uh uh-uh. No. I don't have anything to do with your truck. And then Jennifer called me and she was like, holy shit, that's the fucking greatest thing ever. And I'm all, sorry. And she's like, no, fucking, that was fucking fantastic. We've got neighbor dogs barking. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. That's a great story. See, these are all stories that you need to put up on stage. Right. It's the kids all walking. Oh. It's just Our like, neighbor's going for a walk. I've talked, to, I've talked about how... I've told the rape story before. Which one? The one where you tasered yourself? Yeah. I've God, told- that's one of my favorite stories in the whole world. <laughs> I've yes, done you that have on, told it on I've here. done that on stage a couple times, and I get... It always gets a good hit. It, it's because it's true. But that's the best part of that. <laughs> that's that's just that's a crazy story. I don't I don't think I have anything yet. But I, I just thought it was funny that Brody was just like, "Holy shit, mom, you were cool." And I'm like, well, "Yeah." It's kind of funny. I rem- you know what? It's funny cuz I can totally remember when I was like the cool uncle or the cool and then I watched all my cool smack when I hit the pavement. <laughs> I watched it all go away. Everything all everything I ever worked for went went kaput. Okay, you say that, but if you don't you remember Brandy goes, You're still the cool uncle. That was a patronizing one. Like, I know it was I feel wasn't. bad for that old bastard. No. You know, you know, they're like, dude, did you see he was fat ass fucking at the No, ground. they still Jesus. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, I know I lost a lot of points, but that's just because I'm a lot. But Haley loves me. <laughs> Brandy loves me, too. Nina loves me, too. I'm, they all love me. God damn it. I'm keeping everybody, it. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves me. You just need people to love you. But some of the stories, like, I fucking forgot. Did I tell you? Were you there? Were you in the room when we talked about the casualty? Which casualty? Just I yelled. Ca- okay, no. Because you would know exactly. I think I kind of remember this. The pen? No. Okay, so I was in anatomy and physiology. And this guy, his name was James, again, he liked me. But he was dorky as fuck. And I was going through a bunch of shit. And I didn't want boys anymore. But, and I could, like, he talked to me one night. I think I let him finger me. I think... I think we've, yeah, I think. Did you guys have sex? No, no. You just let him touch your puss? Uh-huh. I don't even think I touched him. So what's, isn't it worse to put somebody's dirty fingers in your puss than it is their dick that's been in their pants? I don't know. I don't know. I guess you can't get pregnant. Yeah. I guess that's a plus. Anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. I knew I shouldn't have said that. Fingering okay, guy. So, yeah, so I knew he wanted to talk to me again, and because I could see him like staring at me. Well, yeah, he's during like, class. Well, yeah, because you you let him touch your. <laughs> you let him touch. I your think finger. I don't remember. I think I did. Even if he let it touch from the outside, and you like just rubbed his peepee on the outside of the fucking pants, or even blew him, he was <gasps> gonna try. Did you know him? I know for a fact. That's right. Oh my god. Did you suck his dick? No, no. But I let him finger me, and I accidentally said the wrong name. Fuck. Oh, and that's why you cut it off, huh? Yeah. Otherwise, you would have let him do you. I think mm, maybe. Yeah, you probably. But it was really embarrassing, and and he kept wanting to go, and I was like, no. He's yeah, like, that's some... cool. I'll go by Mike. <laughs> I was like, have some fucking dignity. I'll go by Franklin. That's cool. <laughs> but the sad thing is, his name was the same name as my last person I was with. And I still called him by some... Di- I don't know. That was the one of the first ones back after Texas or what? No, it, it was in Texas. Oh, it was, it was. Oh, that was a during Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at you moved around in Texas a little bit. You were only there three years. You were just like, oh, I'll try that one and that one. No wonder they won't let you back. <laughs> Shut up. Home wrecker. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have I ever been... I don't think I've ever... Uh, I may have been with a married man. You just didn't know he was married for and sure? I don't know for sure if he... Okay, anyway, stop! So he's staring at me, and I know he wants to talk to me, so I put all my shit away. Like, I'm all packed up, and as soon as the teachers had dismissed, I was fucking running down the hallway. Now, uh, we all know... You know this. My favorite thing to write with is purple pens. I love purple pens. I had a favorite purple pen, still to this day cannot find this pen, and it fell. And I looked down to pick it up, and then I looked down the hallway, and he was on my tail, and he goes, Joy! And I yelled, K! 
casualty. And I fucking took off to my team. <laughs> and never talked to the guy again. No. Never looked at him. Never. No. And you still had class with this guy. Yes. Oh, my God. Talk about making it awkward for each other. How Can we make it more awkward? It's me. I know. I make fucking things awkward. I know you do. Heather reminded me. I vaguely remember this because we used to have to walk around when we worked for AT&T Converges and help people because we knew all the answers. And this one guy was like, hey, can you come help me with this account? And I walked over and... A, I think I remember that like a booger flew out of my nose and hit the desk and I just looked at him and go, uh-huh, and then just turned around and walked away. I didn't even help just him. just walked away. You're like, I'm going to leave this booger here. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, shit. That's fantastic. Yeah. And then the one time we went karaoke. See, these are all and things I didn't you got to turn to bits. I'm I didn't want you. to karaoke, but it, we had a friend named Celia who loved to karaoke. And so she's like, come on, come on. And I was acting all tough. And I'm all fucking go up there with you. I fucking got this. But when I got on stage, I turned off my microphone. I flipped the switch. So when she was singing, she goes, I couldn't hear you at all. And I was like, yeah, I think there is something wrong with the microphone. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> you know, as much as I love like singing around and doing uh-huh. music and stuff, I've never done karaoke ever. We should do karaoke. I don't want to. Okay. Well, guess what? They have a karaoke machine at the party on Thursday. You will Friday. You will enjoy it with you. <gasps> Let's do summer no, loving. I am not doing. We just, but you have to be Olivia Newton John. I have to be John Travolta. <laughs> I cannot go as high. I can't go that high. But I can do summer loving. <laughs> summer loving. <laughs> Happen so fast. I hate the way she talks. I met, met a boy. A crazy for me. I met a boy. All right, we nobody he needs raped to hear. me. <laughs> right? It's so funny when you, we were talking about that uh-huh. the other day when they're in the in the bleachers and he's like, "Can she get a friend?" <laughs> The one that's the worst one is, did, did she, she put up a fight? Did she, did she put up a fight? Did you fucking get it? Did you fucking hold her down by her neck? <laughs> did you drown her? Were you drowning her? And that's why. Did you force fuck her? God. Dry fucked her, right? Right in the sand? Yes. Who wrote those, man, Who writes lyrics? That shit? Although, lyrics. I, although I've got to tell you, and I had admission, admission we all know I like grease. I know. Oh, we know. I'm stupid for that. It's bad admission. But I really but I really do like the song Grease. I know. From Frankie Valley, is that who it is? Or Frankie Avalon? I don't know. One of those guys. One of them Frankie guys do it. He's either a Valley or an Avon one. Yeah, but I really like that song. It's a good song. Anyway, moving on. Which song is it? The Grease song. Which? Grease is the word. It's the word that you heard. Tell me again. It's got mood, it's got meaning. <laughs> You know what, though? That movie does have a fantastic line. Is you know, if you can't be a jock, be a jock supporter. That's funny. Know. My favorite is a hickey from Kanicki's, like a Hallmark card. <laughs> Which is crazy because Hallmark cards are expensive and they are no longer needed. Well, Kanicki's dead, so. <laughs> is he really? Yes. I thought Kanicki. Jeff Conley. Oh. Jeff Conway. His name was Jeff Conway. I don't know why. Wait, I know who's his name. Shooter? Well, he was in Grease 2. Shooter played Grease Shooter McGrath. Two his or name Grease was like also. Grease 2. There is not a Grease also. No, I meant like Grease 2 or Grease No, he was not two, in the Grease number 1. Two. Grease number 1 Shooter was not in it. Oh. Grease number 2. What is wrong with your dog? Grease number 2, he was one of the T-Bird guys. He was like he was like that character. He was Michelle Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer? I don't know. No. Yeah. Who was Michelle Pfeiffer with? He, oh, the he was brownie. like the little the little Danny Zuko yes. guy who who was not he didn't play the part part very well. That's true. And then there was the guy who was the motorcycle. It was all motorcycles in that one, not Grease Lightning. Yes, I our remember. dog is barking too and much. The Australian. Have we had enough because of the dog? I guess. I'll Are talk more. No, I'll talk more. But our dog's making too much noise. Our dogs are making noise. They're super annoying. <laughs> the, I know. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna do the audio for my book, and then it'd be like. And then he touched her. He slid his. As right as he entered her. Oh! 
<laughs> okay, I know we've talked about it already, but I'll talk about it again. There is a fucking dog somewhere in the neighborhood. That sounds, that sounds like it's having a fucking orgasm when it's all, oh, oh, and it makes me laugh every time I hear it. Because it's, oh. Hey, so we have an author signing this weekend. Um, I'm yep. super excited. Hey, if you're free and in L.A., Oh yeah! If Come check in, it out. Oh yes! If you're around Irvine, it's in the Irvine Spectrum. That's Center. halfway for the San Diegans. Yeah, it's not in, even. It's um, more than halfway. It's like an hour from you guys. It's at the Marriott at the Spectrum at, at the, the Spectrum, Spectrum Center, and um, it's in the ballroom. There's going to be a bunch of signs and stuff you can totally come say hi there's gonna be penis races that i have a shit ton of i can't swag. wait for the penis races i've been working out my penis all <laughs> week long i've been stretching it Bullshit. pulling on it we all know john is fast i've been doing penis. cock push-ups your penis is gonna be racing it's gonna be one of the best yeah it's gonna go within seconds hey i race everything you know that i win <laughs> i want to beat you right now i'm super well okay okay so i'm afraid if i say this like I'm going to meet friends there and I'm, they're going to listen to my podcast and they're going to hear this episode. But there's there's 30 authors and eight of them have never done a signing before. And some of them are driving me a tad They're all crazy. nervous. They're all excited. They're scared. They're... Sue, so, oh my God. Like, every I remember day. your first sign, and you were a basket case before. Yeah, but I don't... But you didn't ask. I know. You didn't uh, ask all just... the crazy questions. And... and some... I don't know. I just feel like some people want drama just to have drama. And it's, it's silly to me. It's like, pull your big girl panties up. I'm, or don't wear panties or just I don't know but some of them are driving me a bit batshit crazy and a couple of them are like oh my god I'm so nervous I'm so nervous and I'm like you're fine you're fi-. like you paid $225 for a, a table to hang out there to all hang day out. You, have fun have fun right? no doubt like I mean I was nervous my first one but sure. I was also super excited well, I'm sure it's been a while since you've done one. Now it's it's nerving it a little. It's a little nerving. It's, I've seen your stress trying to get everything together. It's just getting everything together, and there's yeah. So anyway, so one of the newer authors brought something up that was completely asinine, honestly, and just freaking out. And I was tech. I was texting John. <laughs> But I accidentally put it in the group text. Oh, I saw that. Uh, your family. I saw that, and it could be a, it could have been easily misconstrued. It totally could have, and still may have by a couple. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but it, no, and but I was, but it truly was, and I actually. <laughs> I saw the sad thing. No, no, no. So I sent that. I was supposed to go to you. And I was sending it to Andrea right. too, because Andrea and I have been talking. Because she's like, How, "What's going on now?" And. It was about alcohol. Like one of right. them. Okay. So we had a whole meeting. We have had a whole meeting. The hotel does not want us to have alcohol because people who have bought tickets are under 21. So we all kind of were like, ha, 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 right. put it in a Starbucks cup, you know? Like, right. The, and, I, and I understand that theirs is because they don't want to lose their liquor licenses in case I, my kid starts drinking. Super get totally it. Totally get it. Super get it. And fine. I'll, we can hide our alcohol. Right. But. And I was talking to Andrea and she's, but because one of them was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I'm going to need alcohol for this. I'm so nervous. And I, it bugged me because it was something we had already talked about and we, we were already on board at how we were going to hide it. And this person was like, oh my God. And that, and I text Andrea and then I copied and pasted it and it was supposed to go to you and it went to the family group text. And I, uh, I know I read it as all. I was like, ooh, that's probably going to be messed up. The only, at least my sister, you know, she, she, I think she seemed to understand it and laughed. Ha ha. Well, Haley did. And Haley did. Well, my sister wrote it LOL too. Oh, okay. Cause it, oh, but anyways. So, so one sister, my younger sister, the ones who didn't respond were like, you know, my mom who's mad at us. And then my other sister, who's I assume is mad at us as well. I don't know. But, um, the best part is I sent it to Andrea and Andrea goes, what the fuck? She's like, when you're 14, you know how to hide alcohol. She thought, do these women not know? And I started, la- it made me laugh because I was like, that is a valid point. By the yeah. time you're a certain age, you already know what you're using to hide alcohol. 
Like I'm using my confetti Starbucks cup. Right. I hope nobody from the hotel listens. But yes, I need alcohol to deal with some of these people. Because it's a lot. I have three people. Don't worry, hotel. I don't drink. <laughs> I have three people who want temporary tattoos so they can take it to their tattoo artist. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Yeah. But I don't want to be mean because I don't want people to know. But We're going to have to wrap this up. Yeah. The dogs are getting okay. too crazy. But some of these newer authors are, are kind of driving me insane. Yeah. Well, it's a new world. They're all pandemic authors. That's true. You that's know. true. Yeah. They're all new. They're none of them. Some of them will never write a book again. That's true. All right. Well, let's all wrap right. this up. Dogs are going bananas. Oh, doors are open. Kids are crazy. Yeah. All right. Much I love. Said Come. I love you. What the? I fuck? love you guys. I love all three of you. Oh, like, click, subscribe. Yeah, do comment. that stuff. That would be fun. You can email comment. Email us. Email us. We'll at, talk shit to you. When wife gives you lemons at gmail dot com. And we are not afraid to talk shit back to you. No. So if you tell me I suck, I'm going to tell you to eat a dick. Ooh, and if you and if can, you tell me I love you, I'll love you back. And if you want. Fucking come to Irvine this weekend. It's Saturday. It's from noon to four. It's fucking going to be a blast. Yep. And then we'll be hanging out and enjoying. Have a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good day. Bye. Good day. Bye-bye. Good day. Bye. Good day. Yeah.